So this is Agape Hill. This part of the hill actually overlooks the Weija Reservoir, which you see in the back. I have come to shoot a few, no, actually one video in the past, back in, I think, March or February. But uh, it's really been a year of YouTube. Pretty good. I won't lie, it's such a weird feeling to have because when I started my journey, the very first video I was shooting, I was so shy and I didn't even know if I wanted to do it. I don't even know how I got there, but it was like one of those things where it was like, you know, I, I, let me just, you know, let, let me just give it a shot, see where it goes. And one full year, like, I can't believe I actually went this far. I, I can't lie, I'm, I'm very grateful for the opportunity to, you know, connect to people through this medium. And, uh, you know, it's pretty good. Honestly, this is the last thing anybody would have expected me to do because I am, a relatively shy person, you know, if you meet me in public, I probably have earphones in my ear trying not to, you know, um, be all over the place and stuff. It's a little hard to believe, but it's the truth. I'm just not, I was never, it's not something you'd expect me to do, but, you know, life happens and um, I'm so grateful. Also, I took my glasses off because of the photochromic black lens thing. It gave me this weird look, I know, but um, yeah. You know, recently, I think it was about three days ago, I went back to look at my previous videos and I was just, I was a little angry, I won't lie, because, um, you know, when you have that feeling where you've created so much that when you go back and you see something that's below the standard you hold yourself to now, you kind of kick yourself because you're like, man, how, how did I allow myself to do that? And that's what I really, um, that's what I was going through psychologically the last few days, but, um, it's okay, you know, it happens and um, that's part of growth, you know, you have to make a few stinkers before you actually get the flower, you have to get a good one, so um, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Jeez, the sun is hot, it's only like 8 a.m., like, gee. Right, so in, in everything, I'm just so thankful for life, you know, and the ability to grow and, you know, for you guys who watch my videos, who have subscribed to my channel, who really keep the lights on even when I take time off to not create stuff because of uh, so many things going on. Uh, I won't lie, there are some times where I can make videos back to back to back and at the end I just, I don't feel like talking. Common example is when I made the Wodema, um, I didn't make that, I streamed that, the Wodema 10,000 times video and I still can't believe I actually did that because I said I was going to. I need to shout out Headless YouTuber for that because he gave me that idea. Thanks a lot, bro. But it, it was like, <laughs> I didn't want to talk for the first few hours after that. And then when I did the Squid Game breakdowns last week, I just, I was I was like, you know what? I don't want to do it. It's been, no, it's actually been two weeks. It's been that long. But yeah, I just didn't want to talk. I didn't want to say anything. It was like, you know what? Just let me be, let me sit in my corner. I'll just do me, you know? And here we are, right? So a couple of days ago, I asked you guys to ask me questions on my Instagram and a number of you did leave questions for me. I'm so grateful. I didn't ask on my Twitter because I didn't think I'll get responses. Twitter can be like that sometimes. But uh, yeah, so let me get to some of your questions. I hope I can see since I'm not wearing my glasses. Yeah, it's that bad. Like I have to put the phone like this. Mercedes or Bing asks, what excites you about YouTube? Well, um, I don't know how to put this. So there is a... Um, there's just a feeling I get with just creating videos and testing the limits of my own creativity, you know, and uh, just putting things out that people possibly want to see. You know, because it's sometimes, for me, it's a little hard for me to gauge what people want to see. So exploring that, in a sense, is a little fun. Hey, this sun, gee, no one asked me to come here. Or <laughs> hey, but generally just the, you know, the will to constantly keep putting stuff out and it comes so naturally and that's what resonates with me most and uh yeah i'm just grateful that you guys see the journey all right uh levels this is andy's insights he's on youtube as well has a channel do go check his stuff out so after a year what would you say starting your channel has brought to you um it's brought me um hmm. How do, how do I answer this the right way? So it's giving me a certain sense of calm, a certain sense of peace, a certain sense of um, 
freedom, I would say, like creative freedom, because technically you're your own boss. You are creating things, you are being, um, you, are, you are in a position where you are able to, you know, I always, I said this before, but like testing the limits of your own creativity. And uh, yeah, that's, that's, it's brought me this inner peace. It's brought me a sense of purpose as well, because I've never, I've never felt more drawn to something especially like in the especially in the last year well i said it's watching wrestling a lot of course but i've never felt more drawn to something and seeing that i could do it at this level you know it's it's not the highest level ever but you know the the you know me improving is something i really look forward to and you know it's brought me that thrill and that joy and it, it's brought me so much i'm like i is visual render oh stanley <laughs> friend of mine so what do you hope to achieve with all the energy and time you put in here um well I, so i live by a philosophy garbage and garbage out if you put in garbage you will get garbage responses or not garbage responses, but bad responses um you know um i believe something the bible says and i believe it is in um i want to say some i could be wrong but it says whatever your hands find it to do do it well and that's what I, that's the mentality I use. So, you know, it's, it's not so much about, you know, of course the benefits will come at a point and I, I, it's impossible to do something for so long and not get something back from it. But I just want to be able to tell stories in a different way and just like express myself, use this as an outlet and just hope that people can resonate with that and relate to that. So that's kind of that's the deal with me really prince fiaggio asks bro what's your opinion on the lgbt plus bill in parliament oh my goodness uh i won't lie it's something i very much try to stay away from because it's too controversial it's such a hot button topic and you never know you know it's 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 tough i won't lie but i can't tell you this my personal opinions won't matter in the end because they will do what they want to do they want to legalize it <laughs> which they are not going to um they will or they won't you know so um I, I tend not to it's not like i don't have an opinion on it but it's just not i don't feel it's something that's worth sharing to be honest because you know just to be on the safe side but also just for the sake of just now nah, like i i it's it's so dicey if you if you say something has been done wrong you have some people coming for you if you say it's been done okay people will come for you either way so you know i'd rather not but uh yeah i have a i have a ton of respect for the question for the person who has the question that's why i'm even speaking about it but in the end really my personal opinions don't matter that much so i'd rather not touch it you know miss sika asks so why did you choose to become a youtuber i always say this eh? it I didn't choose it, it chose me. So, <laughs> the Kabuki, hey. Hey. Uh, guys, go and follow her, by the way. I, I don't know, I get, she makes me sad. I don't know why. So, the Kabuki asks, what is your advice for small YouTubers who want to do YouTube full time? Um, well, I will tell you this. So, don't see yourself as a small YouTuber. The reason I say this is you are creating, and I, I hate, I, I, no, I don't hate to go bi biblical. But um, here's the thing, creation is not a small job. God literally created everything. The, the Bible starts with there was nothing and then God spoke, let there be light. He created light by speaking, you know. So um, if you look at it from that standpoint and you're like, okay, creation is not a small job, then fine. Once you have that mentality, uh, can I consistently create content? Can I see myself doing this for the long term? Sometimes you won't see yourself doing it for the long term, I'll be honest. But you need to be, you need to have a certain foresight, you know. Am I going to be willing to create content even when I'm not inspired, you know? You have to ask all those questions and if you can answer them affirmatively, then you can move forward. But uh, be prepared to know that you might not hit a certain level of virality and you might not make much from it or you might make nothing at all but it just it comes down to the love for what you do so uh yeah that's how that comes now she asked the second question i have to unlock this phone this is like this is a problem how would you describe your youtube journey so far oh <laughs> uh, it's it's been a lot of ups and downs and um it's just been a lot i don't lie but i have found a way to 
you know how do i answer this the right way so um my, my journey has been yeah ups and downs like i said it's like some days i don't know what i'm doing and sometimes it shows and then other days i do know what i'm doing uh some days it's very frustrating sometimes it's very easy sometimes there are days where i just don't want to create content even though i've planned it out that i am going to make a video i'm going to edit by this time i've given myself a deadline all of that but um another part of it and i'd be a hypocrite if i didn't talk about it was when you see um other people uh, growing at a faster rate and you know it's hard not to feel jealous sometimes you know as a content like you will feel it at some point but then again you have to remember the reason why you started and everyone's growth is not the same so you know because sometimes i don't lie like you just watch certain bits of content and you're like wait how how is this person growing it's like what is you know what's the correlation but then it, it all comes back to you know who you are and you know yeah so i uh, i've learned to find peace in the journey and just learning that you know i have um everyone's growth is different my growth pattern is very different from everybody else so i'm not going to stress too much about anything so yeah thank you so much guys for keeping me up you know for for being my rock for being there uh, it's been a fun year uh, ups and downs all of that and uh you look forward to upscaling getting things better uh i should probably start heading home to edit this thing while the sun gets up before it burns me i become darker than i already am but yeah uh if you want to see a video that youtube thinks is the best for you uh click over here i think and then if you want to see my most recent upload click here i will see you guys thank you i love you guys bye <music>